tell you is this is a fun night and everybody's eating their punchkis. So you're probably sleeping by now. I don't know because you ate all those punchkis today. I know in Parma, they have a place they sold like 400 dozen and, and they have a band and they play music until all the punchkis are gone. It's just really fun. But anyway, um, what I'm making tonight for you is a king cake. And this is a tradition for Fat Tuesday for many, many years in New Orleans. And it originated in Europe. And what it was originated is to celebrate the Feast of the Epiphany. And that's when the three kings went to uh, Bethlehem to celebrate the birth of Jesus. So this cake, you put a little baby inside. Now you can buy in the candy store little babies that you can actually put inside this cake and bake it in it. But these are plastic from China probably. So I didn't want to put it in there till it's all baked and ready to go. But um, what we're going to do is we're going to take crescent rolls, the kind of the same crescent rolls that Angela used for her recipe. And pretty much our filling is very much the same as well. Um, but what I want to share with you is that I did not make one of these ahead. So I'm going to show you what it looks like at the very end, but we're not going to have time to bake it and frost it and show you. So I just have a picture to show you. Um, but what happens is when you put that baby in that cake and then you cut it and serve it on Fat Tuesday, you have to eat it tonight. And what's really fun is my neighbor is coming over at 930 when this is done and frosted and take half the cake home because we can't eat a whole cake. And she wants to eat it tonight because tomorrow's Lent. So fun. But anyway, whoever gets the baby in their piece. I say it brings them luck for a year, but they have to be crowned the king or queen and they bring the king cake the next year to the party. So everybody's out celebrating. And then you frost it with the colors of Mardi Gras, which are green, yellow, and purple. And I have all those colors already made up. So there's the purple, there's the green frosting, my grandkids help me, and there's the yellow. And so you frost it um, and I'll show you a picture of what it looks like when it's done. And it, the colors are justice, faith, and um, tolerance, and that's what it means. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take on a cookie sheet, or you can use the silicone um, baking mat if you have the larger one. And we're gonna take the crescent rolls and like we just took them apart in the triangles. Now the trick is you're gonna lay these triangles together on your cookie sheet. I hope you can all see this, but um, what I want to tell you is you don't pinch the whole thing together. We're only going to pinch it in the middle. So I'm going to layer them next to each other, but I'm not going to pinch it together just yet. And I already started, so I wouldn't be here all night doing this for you. And you do it in a circle, all right? And it calls for two packages of crescent rolls. Now I use almost two packages, okay? But I don't need the whole two packages unless I have it a little bit bigger. So I use about a package and a half to make it. All right, and here's the last one. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to pinch just the middle, okay? So you pinch it in the middle and you always do it where the wide part is outside and the little narrow part of the crescent roll is inside. And then you pinch it just in the middle all the way around because that is where we're gonna put our filling. And this is more a coffee cake. Um, a king cake is not a cake like a cake mix. It's like a coffee cake. And um, I know that several people have ordered this from Mardi Gras from New Orleans just to celebrate tonight. So we did that in the middle. And then what we do is you take four ounces of cream cheese and a half a cup of brown sugar. But my husband likes more filling. So I used a little bit more cream cheese and a little bit more sugar. And when you use brown sugar, you always pack it. It's very important to have it packed or it's not the right amount. And then some cinnamon. And we're gonna put it in our Power Chef that Ellen showed you earlier. And this will just take, and now I know um, Angela used it in the Whip and Mix, but this does the same thing. It's just a little bit different. And you pull it and it's gonna mix all the sugar in with all that cream cheese. And of course you wanna make sure your cream cheese is soft because otherwise it's not gonna mix up. And it's almost ready to go. Yep, it's all ready to go, if you can see that. Now, my husband wanted nuts in it, so I'm going to put some walnuts in it. You could put pecans in it. And I'm putting this in the chopping prep and just chopping in a little chopping prep. And then I'll mix the chopped up nuts, all chopped up, in with this mixture. And then what we're going to do... Okay, let me get that out of here. Okay, so I'll mix that up and I'm gonna dump these nuts in there and just mix it up. 
And then we will take this cookie sheet back and spread this in the center. So you take it and you just spread it in the center because we're gonna fold up the sides and fold up the middle and seal it shut like a coffee cake. So it looks like a coffee cake. So you go all the way around and just put it in the center and spread it. I mean, what's better than, you know, brown sugar, cream cheese, crescent rolls, frosting. And the frosting is just the basic frosting that you use for Christmas cookies. It is powdered sugar, milk, and vanilla. So a little bit more here on this side. And spread it and we're almost done. And I know that I bet you were right now wishing that this cooking class was live because you could get to eat and taste all these things. So soon when COVID is over, we will have in-person cooking shows and you'll be able to come to our studio and taste all these wonderful recipes. Okay, now the trick is you take the wide part and you fold it up over, okay, all the way around and you just fold it over to the middle of where your filling is. And you kind of form like a little circle and you just keep folding it all the way around. And we're almost done. And there's the last one. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the little ends and, and pull them up over the outside. So you're making like a really pretty coffee cake and you just seal them up, just touch them a little bit and they'll just seal right on there, just like that. And there you have, whoop, forgot one, a king cake. Now it bakes for 25 minutes, so I don't think you'll be able to see the finished product, but I wanna show you what it's gonna look like when it does come out. This is what it will look like when I frost it with all the different colors. So you frost it and um, alternate the yellow, the purple and the green. And it is beautiful, but when you taste it, you can't stop eating it. It's usually made with a yeast dough. And so this recipe is so simple for you to make with your kids. I know Carrie or Vicki made it today with her daughter and it looked like it turned out great. Um, and that's what it looks like. So enjoy Mardi Gras, eat all the food you can tonight by midnight because tomorrow you can't. And if you don't have time to make one of these tonight because it's not, um, it's a little late for you, then save the recipe and make it on Thursday for your family. Bye, have a great night. Have a great night. <laughs>